Hey, I'm Vodisa from Base Bunker, and this is the second tutorial for PHP Code Igniter. So, in this tutorial, we will talk about the controller and the view, and we will make just an output text. So, here I created two files like viewbb and controllerbb. What are two, um, these two files are just connected or not connected? The controller file is in here in the controllers folder and the view file is in here in the views folder. So, uh, create some files like that in the view and the controller folder and let's start working on them. In the controller we need to type of course our PHP tags like that. Uh, then we make a class. We'll call it like the name of the file. Then we actually didn't create the controller yet. We create some file that's in the controllers folder, but only that. So what we have to do is just to type extends. Then in the older versions of the controller, it's like typing only the controller. But in the newer versions, it's like C controller, like that. Um, Okay, so this is what we need to do to say um, like, okay, this file not only is in the controllers folder, but now we make it controller by extending the C controller. Okay, so let's continue. We will create some method, public function. Okay, so function not method or doesn't matter. And the default is index, so we'll create index. Then, like the last time we saw in the default files that were presented to us when extracting the code igniter, we saw some code like this, this, what, view. Yes, uh, and we're going to do the same thing here, but only the view will be different. So I have a view file, view bb, then I will just call it like view bb, like that. So, okay, what we're doing here, let's uh, talk about some, this line of code, this piece of code. Okay, we're saying, okay, what, but what what? We want to what from the view folder, by view we said, from the view folder, we want to load this view bb. Okay, view bb is it in the view in the view folder? Yes. So it's basically a view. Okay. So we have our controller, but let's make something with the view. We here only need to do some I don't know some side things. <laughs> Like, let's say we add some header tag and we type some text. Hi, or no, no, no. Base Bunker is YouTube channel. Oh, how interesting. So, this is our text, and by loading the view, we'll see the text. But there's something more. Okay, we want the page here, but again, here's the welcome. Why is that? This is because, um, let's go to the config folder. And in the config folder, here, <coughs> excuse me, and in the config folder, here in the roots, let's open it and go here. Here's uh, actually the default controller. It said, uh, it just said, welcome. So the default controller, let's see if it exists. Yeah, yeah. here is it, uh, welcome. This is our default controller. So every time we just start the default folder, we'll see it like that. And we can't just type our class like if you want to connect to our 
controller that we just created we can just type controller bb like that it will give us an error but if we type like index.php ok base bunker is youtube channel nice um, but of course we can change that like doing it here um, instead of welcome we will change it to controller bb then ok here it is the default page is base bunker is youtube channel um, I think we will use this in the roots, like our controller to be controller BB. Um, it's more easy for us, but doesn't matter for now. We will use both of the ways, like typing the index and only the main page. Okay, this was for the tutorial. We learned how to create a controller, how to auto view and <laughs> how to type some text in the view how hard it is okay thanks for watching